what's up, Knighthood here, and you're probably wondering why is there so much TNT in front of me? Well, that's because I'm going to be doing something about TNT. I wanted to show this off first. It's like a mini version of what we're going to do. Here it is. Nice get around scoop. It's pretty awesome. Hey, cow. Cow, go away. You'll get hurt. Get in the water. You too. As you can see, there's a giant version of that little thing way up there. We're going to just blow this up first, okay? And then we'll get onto that in a couple traps, I thought. So, let's get. Here we go. Kaboom! I think I saw. Some, there are some light flashes in there. Pretty cool. You could see I was working with some TNT. I was just playing around with it. This world is actually called Boom, is the name. Look at this. This is the big version. I built it on a tr dead tree. I'm actually going to get rid of this right quick, okay? But anyway, I'll just tell you about this. It's the mini, it's like the big version, I meant to say big. The big version of that mini one we just saw blow up. It did a nice little amount of damage, but not like the full version of what we like to see, like this massive crater here. A lot of damage, well, this is gonna do something like that. Oh no, I wrecked the TNT. I fixed it, don't worry. I'll just show you guys what it looks like and then we'll blow it up, so. Here you see the top giant piece sides and this it's like every side will look like this when you look at it straight on is like directly gonna be like that okay so i'm just gonna place a piece of tnt here to light it like a nice little present box kind of right so here it is let's go here comes the massive explosion kablam awesome man that went everywhere that scattered TNT everywhere, but that didn't do like a whole whack of damage like this giant crater. So anyway, you know how much damage the ordinary piece of TNT does, right? Hey, hey you! Are you trying to wreck our stuff? Hey, get out of here! Die! Die, you're trying to wreck our video, aren't you? He's, he's trying to wreck it for us, guys. I'll kill him. Don't worry, I got him. This should definitely kill him. Kablam. So that guy is now dead. And now you know how much damage the ordinary piece of TNT does. TNT, just simple. Not that big of an explosion, right? But I'm going to show you how to make the big block versions of the TNT. So, first of all, we're going to just go like one, two, three, one, two. You just put two there, and then it's like. You just make it simply like this, okay? Oh, we're auto-saving. I did not realize we'd auto-save so fast. So, anyway, I can just tell you about it Well, we're doing that. So, auto-saving goes by quick, so don't worry. But sometimes it freezes. There we go. We're up. You just make it like this, simple. Pretty easy to make a TNT square, but... If you're on, like, survival or something, it's going to take a long time. And the screen just froze. Just give it a second. It does this a lot. As soon as it all says, there we go. So we just build this up. There is our giant block of TNT. Pretty awesome. And this, this does way more damage than the other ones. I messed around with a couple blocks like this. Whoa, it even, whoa. Pretty massive. Anyway, I was just playing around today on this world, and I was like, I just thought I'd tell you this. I was like right here, and the lava was dripping down, so I went in here and put a couple bits of TNT in here. And then when it blew this giant hole here, like sand fell all the way on top of it. Wait, I think it was on the side where I put the TNT? Yeah, and sand fell all from up here. You can see all the sand is literally like right there. And if you're wondering why I have this in my inventory and why am I wearing red leather armor, I just wanted to look cool with that on. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to make some traps. So we're going to start with the grass block and the, these. 
Let me just put the flint and steel back up. We might need night vision, but anyway, I'm just showing you in these right quick, you guys. It works in the desert as well. You can do this a lot. I'm going to show you something awesome. I think my night vision weared off. Nope, there's the particles. I'll just do it like right, right up there. Do you guys want to see the sand first? Actually, here's the perfect little spot to do it. So, first of all, you dig two deep block deep hole. Put one TNT, and then whatever biome you're in, just put that type of thing on the ground. And like, you could use stone or wooden pressure pad, and so like, that's a mini little bomb, mine bomb on it. Walk over it, and it would fall in. Of course, since it's sand, but but it does a pretty decent amount of damage for that. Here, let me get to the grass one. Just get on my face, trees and stuff. I'm trying to find a nice little clear spot. Here we go. Oh, I climbed down those. Too deep. It's basically the same thing, but different different materials. But really, at night, like, oops. I accidentally stepped on it. Sorry, guys. I accidentally stepped on it. You didn't get a good look. Let me just grab some milk right quick. Just to let you know I'm playing on Xbox 360. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. And you just put that there and then put that there. And I'm going to show you. I think it's just begun. Yeah, it's... Anyway, you can't even tell that would be there, and it's just like, la duh, I gotta cut down some trees. Hey, what's that sound? Oh no, a pressure pad, I gotta get out of here. And then it's like, kablam, you get trapped in a giant hole. Epic. And did, here, let me show you guys my skin I'm wearing today. I I like to change my skins now and then. Now that I found out how, and look at me. Um, I'm Tuxedo Steve. So let me just put this armor back on. I think it looks nice. And then I'll show you the stone one. Like, I, this is actually the perfect spot to do it. If you're like, you're down, like, in a mine shaft or something like that. And you just don't want anybody, or like a cave or something, you don't want anybody to get there. See, this is the thing about the stone ones. See, stone pressure pad. Hard to spot, right? If I break it and just like shake it around and stuff, put it down. And then I fly up, you can't see it. When you're down on the ground, you can kind of see it, but still, still the same. Kaboom. Oh no, it's gonna blow, something's there. But you see, it does less damage in cobblestone, you can tell. One, I'll just show you guys one more time about the sand one. Let me just get rid of that second pressure pad. You just go down. You can see it though, but when you walk over it, when it lights, that falls in, so you kind of know where the mine is. But still, pretty cool, right? So anyway, guys, that is pretty much almost it, I think. I think there's one more thing I wanted to do. Oh yeah, it is. I'll just use jungle wood for now. Just put my milk up there. Hey, I got a flower. Go away. Here's the thing you could do with tr even like with trees, say you had a tree fort or something, an awesome tree fort and you wanted to hide it, like if somebody tried to break in. I know this would damage it, but seriously, I find this co pretty cool. Even though if it would damage it though, that's fine. It's okay, you can just get the same supplies, right? Well, if you really don't like those guys to online, if you're playing online or playing with friends and stuff, sometimes they just just go to your house and take everything right but not anymore if it's a tree house or any of that stuff because you can do it with any materials you could actually even do it if like you build an ice uh, like a cool ice fortress or something like I'm just gonna do an example ice like oops I accidentally broke my own ice but that's okay right so I accidentally broke it. No. <laughs> it's okay. Let's do that. Hey, it actually kept the flower down there. Doesn't usually do that, but anyway, say it's your ice fort. I'm just doing a fake impression, I mean. 
this is the bad version, but hey, you could make kind of like an ice drop pod, pop, drop pod kind of like this, and just iron door there and the button, and you just break that for glass or something. It could be like a drop pod, so pretty cool. But anyway, for instance, this is it. You could do it with any materials or anything, depending what biome. Just put it like that. Wait, can you put pressure pad on ice? I don't think you can. Anyway, this whole thing's going down anyway. And then just walk in. What's that sound? No, I need to get out of here. Oh no, oh no. Kablam. You still might escape, but who, who cares? You taught them a lesson. If they come to your fortress, you're going to blow them up. Right, guys? Am I right? Anyway, I think, wait, maybe I should end it here. I'm not sure. If you guys want to see more stuff, I'm pretty sure you want to see more stuff like this. So, anyway, I'm betting you're asking, why are you burning these trees? Well, I'm burning them just to make a little bit more room. It might burn quickly. It might burn not not so quickly. But anyway, I did here. I'm, I'll do an example of what I mean. The sand like falling down. So, I'll just do this real quick, and then I'm just gonna end the video here there so I hope you guys like this seriously San seriously Look, now I will just put actually I'm gonna need a marking so if I just fly out of here just put dirt there it's where it is right everybody can see that and then I'll just put a mega amount of sand and then I'm just gonna TNT that place and then sand will just fall all over me. I don't think there we go. That's and then I'll just be on this side and sand's just gonna fall right on my face. Watch. The sand's everywhere. Oh no, it fell. <laughs> See that's what I mean. Hey, it formed an H. Heobrine. <laughs> That keeps reminding me of Heo Brian every time I see that. Pretty awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. I got that off a of YouTuber. Seriously. See you later now. Bye.